Gabon President Chief Olushagun Obasanjo has announced that many politicians jostling for one political office or the other ahead of the 2023 general elections ought to be in jail by now for corrupt practices. He argued that if the Independent National or Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, and the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC, had done their jobs properly with the support of the judiciary, many politicians aspiring for political positions and their supporters should have been jailed. Now, the former president insisted that Nigerians must learn from the events of the past and put aside sentiments in choosing the next president of the country. He said that each contender must be properly x-rayed and profiled. Well, joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdulhamid. He's a legal practitioner. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdulhamid, for joining us. Thank you for having me, Miriam. Interesting. Former President Olusha Gwabasanjo has been known to be very vocal. Uh, at some point in time, we knew him for his letter writing. And now, as he turns 80-something, he has decided to speak about the politicians who are running for office. Now, a, a lot of people might agree with him. A lot of other people might disagree with him. Um, some people have said that, well... Um, the president needs to, the former president needs to look at himself while he lumps all these other people as corrupt leaders. Can we say that former president Olusha Gwabasanjo is one way or the other um, with clean hands in terms of corrupt practices? Uh, I think uh, sometimes in Nigeria we miss the point by looking at the messenger rather than look at the message. Yes, President Obasanjo may also have been in power, may also have a, a issue of... A... Can you hear me? Yes, I was trying to... Yes, I can Go ahead, please. I was trying to explain that President uh, Abbasanjo has done well in terms of uh, attempt to fight uh, corruption. If you recall, Abbasanjo was the person that created the EFCT. He was the man that created the probably ICPC. He has done a lot in terms of uh, establishing institutions to fight uh, corruption. But in a project that has done that, he did not only do well in some area, probably based on partner interest or partner uh, uh, aspiration. You know, he, he sometimes he allowed himself to be used. In other words, to achieve his own, he is very greater than him, yes, for instance, at the time when Bagu was in charge, was a led to, uh, to be using the Bagu to fight for people uh, opponents. So in a project that I believe that, Unfortunately, we have lost uh, our connections with um, the barrister. We'll try to get him back. Uh, but quickly, while we wait to get him back, we'll bring you some uh, reports uh, from Nigerians on the street. Stay with us. I feel I feel it's just I just I feel it's playing mind games. It's just trying to play mind games with uh with ourselves. It's, if it's gonna say that then he also has to be included also in being jailed also. But if he's gonna exclude himself and take other people, then I just feel it's just playing mind games. It's just trying to play with us. I don't think all of them deserve to be in jail. But most of them deserve to be in jail. Like who and who? If I'm to mention names. We we all know what is happening in the country. We know the situation of the country and we know that these people are past leaders. Most of them that are contesting for president, there are people we know. So I, I cannot, if I start mentioning them, the list is very long. Okay, Tinubu is contesting, Ojiza Kali is coming out, uh, Richard Sokoracha is deciding that he wants to come out. So all these people, Atiku is, is deciding to come out. So all these people, there are people that we know, there are people that have the capacity, that have the capacity to change this country. And they did not do anything about it. Now they are coming back for us to vote for them. So why? What do you have to offer? Uh, no, I didn't share. It. I don't share that same sentiment with him, because for him to come up, for a, as a president, for him to come up to tell the Nigerians or to tell the whole world that the um, the presidential aspirant should be jailed is totally wrong. Because if he's even talking about jailing anybody in this country, should be the former president. All the whole former president of Nigeria should be the one to to go to jail, not the aspirant. Because um, we believe that those who are coming up to contest, or they all have experience, they have one or have one or two ideas that they will come that they are trying to use for this country to change things. 
So why would he just come up and say, okay, all the whole president as parents should be jailed? I disagree with him. If all the presidential parents should go to jail, a person just should, should go to jail too. Because everything started from his regime. So either the PDP or the APC, none of them are clean. So if they should, if a person should say, should say that all the presidential parents should go to jail, that they should start from him. That's my take. Well, um, we're still being joined by Barsha Tsundi Abdulhamid. Unfortunately, uh, Barsha, I think that the, the connections are not friendly with you today. But you heard what, uh, what our um, respondents on the streets have said. The last person said that the, pre the former president should be, should be pointing that finger to himself. Um, and um, some other people are also calling, calling out some of the people who are trying to run for presidency, uh, saying that these people had a, a shot at you know, doing the right thing in the country, but they didn't do it. What is your take? Yeah, I think it's also culpable. Like what I was saying at that time, it's culpable because he was in charge. He has the FCC, he has ICPC. I'm not aware of that he was able to at least one, two, three, or four people were, were conflicted during his regime. About 10, 10 people. I'm, not, I'm talking about political, uh, 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 what's it called? People in his cabinet. For instance, I am aware in his group that uh, uh, about a bit, what he said about an article. He, and they made several allegations about people being corrupt and this and that. I, mean, I did not see him that when he was in charge to uh, provide any charge. But the vice whatever. president at that. the time was his vice president and had immunity, so he couldn't have prosecuted him while he was in office, could he? Yeah, I, I know he was his vice, vice president, but thereafter, when, when, what did he, did he, did he, raised those issues at that time why he was in, in charge? No. It was after he left office that was that was raising those issues. So if you have raised that issue, probably the private in Peter would, would, would have been declared against the party at that time. So there are so many allegations against people who are corrupt in this country that have been that have been robbed. But I agree with him that if EFTC and ICPC are doing their job with us, if we don't, so many people today will be in jail. Like I said, there are so many good allegations have been made against. We have we heard about the uh, 2019 but we are uh, not find entry something people's uh, house. Nothing has happened up to today. We hear uh, 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 an aspirant to uh, uh, a senior presidential uh, uh, aspirant that was asked to, 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 to drop his ambition so that his allegation against him will be dropped. He was dropped. Uh, we hear uh, that there are so many issues like that. And we hear a uh, former uh, chairman of the APC say that uh, once you join the APC, you're seen that forgiving. That is done. So I'm not saying it's limited to this uh, regime alone. Even the former uh, previous regime, this happens. But to an extent, I agree with him that look, some of them are not, uh, some of them, if EFCC and the ICPC are doing their best, that their, their job will be done, they may likely not be in charge to be able to even contest election as it's today. They may even be facing one prior or the other. But unfortunately, that's that not the case because ICPC and EFCC today are being used as an instrument to fight opposition and fight people who are not in support of what is going on in the country, uh, support of the government of, of, of the day. We see how uh, CCT, CCT was used against uh, Sadaki was was state president to be able to say one thing or the other. And then we see how certain people are being pardoned based on same, similar allegations. So you see, we are inconsistent in terms of our fighting corruption in this country and in fact of ERCC and ICPC doing its job. They, 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 they align with people who are in government in power. They, 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 they use a uh, 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 cheap glove to, to handle them. Then if you are in opposition, to be a different uh, board game. We see all the audits of Carlos case. Then we saw the, the as I remember it then, that he that, that, that withdrew from the senior presidential, what's it called? At that time, he was trying to com compete with the he, he can be part of. And in every day, all the checks against him were withdrawn. So that's what we are seeing in this country. So I, 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 I agree with him to that extent that too. If certain people are, Coming up to this to say they are politicians, they are people to say they are contest election, one position or the other. Well, it's not only about the presidential election, you know. Other areas of uh, uh, position as of uh, senior president, uh, senior, uh, senior and governorship uh, election, some of them don't even be positioned to get to contest the if a uh, if, uh, if, uh, law has been applied. All these values just, okay. just left uh, uh, by, by chance. Okay. Well, unfortunately, time is not on our side. I want to say thank you. Uh, Tunji Abdulhamid is a legal practitioner, uh, and he joined us live from Lagos. Thank you for speaking with us. We appreciate it.
All right. Well, thank you all for being part of the conversation tonight. Don't forget, you can catch a replay of the show on our YouTube channel. It's Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I'm Mariana Kun. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to talk for development. Have a good evening. Thank you.